Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is brisket style picanha. Picanha is one of my favorite cuts of beef. It's so flavorful and delicious. You'll most often hear it associated with South American or Brazilian grilling, uh, churrasco, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's often cut into steaks and then skewered and then cooked to like mid-rare and shaved thin. It's fantastic that way. But I thought today we'd do something a little bit different with it. We're gonna actually treat this thing like a brisket instead of treating it like a steak. So not only are we not cooking it to mid-rare, we're going well past, well done, over 200 degrees to try and achieve the same kind of slices that you would get out of a brisket flat. So this is our picanha roast, probably about two and a half pounds. Uh, if you're looking to pick this up locally wherever you live, um, check the butcher shops. It might also be called culotte or sirloin cap. That's what it was labeled uh, when I picked this one up. There's not a lot of trimming to do on this. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with a lot of that. You can see it's got a massive fat cap on it. Picanha is known for that. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it right there for the entire smoke and you can cut it off afterwards if you don't wanna eat it all. Um, but for the most part, all I really need to do here is I'm gonna score this fat cap and then get this thing seasoned up and onto the smoker. So the scoring will help some with rendering. It'll also help a little bit with the rub sticking to the fat. We're gonna keep the seasoning really simple today. We're just gonna hit it with a little bit of our W sauce, the Worcestershire for binder, and then some Cattleman's Grill, Roadhouse, steak and beef rub. Uh, this is one that I developed for Cattleman's. Um, it's got a lot of savoriness to it, but it's, it's also got a little bit of what you could attribute to like South American um, flavor in the form of cumin. I know of course cumin's used around the world, but in, in combination with the chilies that are in here, salt, garlic, onion, uh, this works really well. Not necessarily as like a taco seasoning, uh, but just a little bit of Latin influence. Make sure to get the sides. And this thing's pretty much immediately ready to go onto the smoker. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS480S pellet grill. It's running at 250 degrees with hickory pellets and set up for full on indirect cooking or smoking. So I'm gonna place this one right here on the top shelf next to the other one that's already been cooking for about four hours. And we're really getting to the point where we're ready to wrap this thing. Now I wanna wrap these so I can trap all the juices in there. I'd rather have a really juicy picanha to slice rather than one with like an exceptional uh, crunchy bark. So I'm gonna sacrifice a little bark for extra juiciness. The internal temperature right now is right around 165, 170. Now we're gonna add a little bit of liquid to our wrap. We got a half cup of beef broth. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of the Worcestershire to it and about a teaspoon of Roadhouse. So not introducing any new flavors necessarily, just kind of fortifying the ones that are already there. So we're putting the picanha on two sheets of heavy duty foil so that we don't lose anything. If we catch a little hole, pour all that liquid right over the top and then wrap it nice and tight. So essentially it's going to braise in its own juices as well as the added juices until it's all the way cooked through. Probe tender past 200 degrees. Go right back on where it was. I'm gonna run a probe to where we feel like is the deepest center part of this meat. Yep, we are reading 170 right now. So we got about 30, 35 degrees to go. So here's a nice time comparison. This has been on for two hours now. You can see kind of the color, the rendering that's happening. This has also been on wrapped for two hours with a total cook time now of about six hours. And it is probing really nice and tender. I'm getting anywhere from 203 to 207 in different spots. So at this point, I wanna get this thing off of here. We're gonna kinda let that initial heat out, we'll wrap it back up. I'm gonna stick it in the Cambro or in a cooler to rest for another probably hour or so before we slice into it. All right, Picanha is rested. We're ready to slice. So we're gonna find out which way the muscle fibers are running. They're going this way, which means we're gonna be slicing this way. It's cutting like butter, not much resistance there. Let's see how it looks. That looks pretty dang good. Nice moisture on the surface still. 
know, it'll hang, it'll dangle just a little bit. Pull it apart. That's about like a slice of brisket. Let's get a taste. Oh man. That fat cap is unreal. It's really nicely salty around the outside. Great smoke flavor, but just the fat with the rub on it, it's just magical. I mean, the way that fat is rendered down is really delicious. Not the juiciest. I mean, this is a fairly lean cut, maybe a little bit more marbling than say like the, the flat that you would cook for brisket. Uh, but you know, that's time and practice. I'm happy with it because I can see it glistening. Um, but you know, you could even inject this to get a little bit more flavor into the center if you like. But it's melting the mouth right now. Not disappointed in that at all. Let's go ahead and run some slices through the juices because that'll really add a lot of flavor. And that's one of those tricks that you can use anytime you've got a meat that you want to add just a little bit more juiciness or flavor to. Save that juice that it was cooked in. Run it right back through there. We'll just take each of these slices, get some of that jus on there. I'm not gonna let any of that go to waste. Throw it down with a little bit of bread and a couple of your favorite barbecue sauces. Get some Firebug Mild, some of Meat Mitch's white sauce. I'm gonna get some pickles on here as well. Casey Canning does a really nice dill pickle. We get some bread and butter jalapeno pickles on here as well. We'll load up a slice of bread here. Pickle on there. Dip in that white sauce. Mmm. The vinegar from the white sauce is nice. Cuts the fattiness that's going on on the outside of the picanha. The beef's super tender. I'm really happy with the flavor overall. Honestly, it's a fun technique. It's a fun way to try and cook a picanha. Does it beat brisket? Maybe, maybe not. And picanha is so good at mid-rare that it's hard to miss up on that. But overall, really fun time. Hope you'll try it too. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.